Here we have an EBS 260 printing on a message in a special sequence, which can only be done by using the EBS web editor software and in an Excel sheet. I will demonstrate how this can be done. The first step is to create a new project in the web editor software. Then go to your Excel sheet and open up the app called Notes. You're going to transfer all of the messages in the first column in the Excel sheet into Notes and then you're going to save it as its own individual element. Next you're going to do the same thing with the second column in the Excel sheet and then import it into the Notes app and then you're also going to save it as its own element. This element is going to be called a text file, which is very crucial if you ever want to make a sequential message like this. These messages are perfect for whenever you're printing out a sequential sequence for either a pipe job or a seed bag job or anything else that will require specific lot code for a particular job. As for the web editor, this is the following steps you'll need to take. You're going to go to the T icon, then you're going to select text file. A small window will open up, which will require you to import said text files. You will do so by going to the file path, and then browse, and then browse again, and then you'll find your text projects. You'll have to import one text project at a time. You cannot do multiple at once. Once all of your text files have been uploaded, you can now browse for them again. You'll need to import each text file one at a time into the message grid. Then you can place the text file however you want. You'll be doing this only once or however many times you'll need to import depending on what the project calls for. Next you can position your text files however you want in your message grid. Be sure to import a line divider after the text file projects in order to move on to the next message in the sequence properly. After that you'll be setting up your printout repetition and how many is required. Once that's done, you can save your project, then you can export slash import this message into your EBS 260. There is another video on our YouTube page that will explain how this can be done. As you can see, I've decided to use a blank piece of cardboard to demonstrate the repetition printing, as well as a blank swipe. A blank swipe is mandatory to proceed on to the next message. You cannot run this process without doing so. Once a blank swipe is done, you can now move on to the next message in your sequence. In order to shut off your print repetition, you have to go to your printing parameters in your message. You can see the printout repetition is at 3. I'm going to take this 3, turn it to a 1, and then begin this project again. Once that's done, you can now print out your message sequence 1, 2, and 3. Very good.